Hey guys, welcome back to another Heavy Metal Diecast video. We've got another one here from Corgi in one seventy second scale, of course. It is a North American P51B Mustang flown by Major John C. Herbst. I do hope I'm saying that correctly. And it's uh, from uh, 1945 while he was in command of the 74th Fighter Squadron of the 23rd Fighter Group. And uh, Herbst was an American who had joined the Royal Canadian Air Force in 1941 to fly fighters as the US had not yet entered the war at the time. And he would fly in one of the uh, Eagle Squadrons posted in England and uh, would score an unconfirmed Messerschmitt 109 uh, aerial victory, of course. In 1942, he would return to the US to join the United States Army Air Force and uh, where he would be a flight instructor and also um, assigned to air combat intelligence duties as well. But uh, after repeated requests for frontline action, he finally had them granted in 1944 and would be uh, posted to the China-Burma-India Theatre where the American forces were helping the Chinese fight the Japanese. And uh, even though he did reach his required 100 combat sorties, he was then uh, restricted to administrative flights, which uh, would always somehow occur where enemy aircraft would be uh, known to operate, of course, and he would score numerous aerial victories on these administrative flights, of course. By the end of World War II, uh, he would have flown... Uh, 144 combat missions and down 18 enemy aircraft with another two probables. Uh, after World War II, in April of 1946, Herbst and another pilot, Robin Olds, would form a jet aerobatics team flying the Lockheed P-80 Shooting Star. Uh, July 3 of 1946, he would marry his second wife, and the following day, on July 4th, in front of his wife and son and 30,000 spectators, Herbst would unfortunately be fatally injured in a flying incident when his P-80 stalled while doing an acrobatic uh, routine uh, during an event, uh, unfortunately, and John Herbst would pass away aged 36. Um, what we'll do is we'll get uh, his aircraft out of the box. It, it's actually just got this decorative slipcover. This is an older one, of course, and then, of course, the aircraft will be inside this box here, and it does have a little... Um, a little certificate and everything but what we'll do is we'll get the uh plastic packet out of the box and have a real good look at it so these of course do come with a limited run certificate there is only 1420 and oh number nine gee that's a low one i did buy this second hand for 64 dollars and we'll lay this packet open of course and we'll it does come with that normal corgi stand and of course the little packet uh, that does have the landing gear if you want to have gear down which of course you know us by now we will be doing that shortly and we'll grab Tommy's dad out and have a real good look at it. We'll move that packet out of the way and wow, this does look really nice. Check out that weathering on. Uh, oh, geez, I hope it shows up in the camera. Um, the the green is peeling off and it shows the bare metal finish underneath the um, the paintwork there and that comes up a treat. It does look really good. It's like a really weathered and battle worn aircraft. This one and it does look fantastic. You can. You can actually see, you can see all these aerial victories on the side there as well. And you can see, see John sitting in the cockpit there. This looks really nice. The propeller spins beautifully. I'll have a look at some of those details on the wing first. Check out all that paint weathering. It just looks great. I reckon this comes up fantastic. <laughs> this is definitely worth the price of admission, this one. This does look really nice. I like the finish on this one. Hopefully it comes up in, in the camera, of course. It does have some reasonable engine detail. Nothing comes off on this. As I said, this does look like an earlier one. So sometimes these corgi ones, you have that cowl that comes off there and you can see some engine, but not the case with this one. We will turn Tommy's dad over and have a little look underneath there. And check out the weathering on there. Wow, this is this is a really weathered aircraft, this one. You can see all the stains and everything underneath the aircraft there. That is great. That does look fantastic, doesn't it? That, that is killer for sure. Wow. That looks fantastic. All right, well, while we've got uh, this Mustang turned over, we'll um, put some landing gear on it. We'll quickly do that and come right back. 
Another straightforward assembly here, the landing gear just drops straight in. You have that tailwheel module that just pushes straight in there. And then, of course, you've got your two little landing gear uh, wheels on either side. Then you've got the gear bay doors that drop in on either side there. And uh, these do rotate. And if you can see, hopefully you can see, there is a little bit of tread on those tyres as well, which is pretty cool. And um, it does set up nicely. And we have a Tommy's dad all set up, ready to ready to uh, put down safely on uh, on the deck and uh, well if you want to chuck it on the stand it's straightforward comes with that normal uh, aviation archive stand that a lot of these come out with and you just put it in that hole bang and it sits on the deck nicely on the stand and ready to display it if you like to put them on your stand I, I personally just chuck them on the uh, on their landing gear I'll zoom in a fraction because uh, Tommy's dad is not very big <laughs> It is a little nimble uh, Mustang, of course. I'm just blown away by this um, paint scheme, of course, the, uh, the the way the weathering is applied on here. I reckon that looks really nice, and it does come up really good, um, even though there was such a tragic end for, for this pilot. I, I do think it's a very nice model. So once again, this is a once in a second scale die cast, of course, by Corgi. It is the uh, P51B Mustang Tommy's Dad that was flown by John C. Herbst. Uh, during his time as commander of the 74th Fighter Squadron of the 23rd Fighter Group uh, in January of 1945. And I do reckon this is a really nice looking one. Um, if if you're going to choose a Corgi Mustang and you can really find one of these, like I reckon it's a, a really good one. This is, To me, this is one of the, one of the nicest looking um, renditions I have seen. All right, guys, I'll wind this video up. I have talked long enough, and I will take some uh, photos of this aircraft and chuck them on at the conclusion of the video, of course, and you can check them out without my sausage fingers being in the way, of course. I do wish to thank you for spending your valuable time, as per usual, watching one of my videos. I appreciate it immensely. All right, everyone, you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, guys. <laughs>